Why'd you boob their nose? No, dude? because Stop. look, look <laughs> at their noses, dude. Look, like it's just a little. <laughs> yeah. It's like barely there at all. She has and like then a... like this snaggle tooth going on here. You guys seen this? Monica looks cool. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. She like a canine. How does she have? She no. Food? Is she a vampire? <laughs> How does Monica like? She has like a Voldemort nose. A little slit in the center of her they, face. They all do, they but all like it's just. That. I mean, they're the just other at different angles, you know. Hers are like straightforward, and it's just nothing there. <sighs> Back to the story. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so, they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Bartholomew, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Stellar. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh? It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, I, that can change. What am I saying? I can't even read. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? No, I can't read either. I just look at the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. That can be understood through pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Only picture books. The level of creativity and fragmentation behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a far world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. I wonder when she was going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> she seemed so reserved, but would not stop talking <laughs> since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people, like a nerd. But you know, uh, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer could so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a whoop? That sounds like oddly specific, right? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's maybe... Let's label Yuri sus. Let's label yeah. Yuri sus. <laughs> sus, purple sus. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I've read a horror book once. I desperately craft something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. Expected that, Yuri? For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or if it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. <laughs> oh, why is that? I just... Natsuki's eyes start over me for a split second. Mind? That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last cl last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Oh, God. <laughs> I give that back! You're cutting out so bad! <laughs> like, yeah, I'm on, trying not out. to... <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross! And I can hear you in real life, too. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Don't put me in a box, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Don't box me up! Sayori says, ooh, Seidel's? Seidel's. Seidel's up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Whoa. I'm not cute! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki, you, uh... 
Write your own poems? <laughs> well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You like them? Ah, not a very confident writer yet. That's kind of a dickish thing to say. <laughs> I understand how Natsuki feels. I also hate these bitches. <laughs> Today that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers. Exposing your vulnerabilities is showing even the deepest <laughs> reaches of your heart. Okay, yeah, Yuri's sus, right? This is like... Deeply, deeply sus. I, I'm scared. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you shared some of your work, you can help set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! <laughs> I have an idea, everyone! <laughs> that wasn't me, damn it. <laughs> Natsuki and <laughs> Yuri look quizzically at Monica. God, what is the stance, bro? <laughs> he floating. Fully posed. <laughs> Scoliosis. God damn it. Oh, God. Let's all go home and... Oh, sorry, my bad again. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. <laughs> next time, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Bartholomew? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Good, good thing warm. we can picture this. Her smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the warm smile she has on her face. Yeah, her, her very human uh, interactions with other people. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back at the original <laughs> topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join. Sayuri so may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made the decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh... I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought, uh... Yeah, <laughs> uh... I'll get it out, not bad, <laughs> You all... <laughs> I, 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 I'm defenseless against these girls and their, their, uh, mommy milkies. Just read no, come on. We How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's <laughs> eyes light up. <laughs> yes! I'm so happy! <laughs> Except for Monica's eyes, which remain the same they've been for the entire game so far. <laughs> Cold. Sayori I'm wraps feeling. her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> uh, hey. You really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. <laughs> Then that makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Uh, uh th thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment! Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once again. Bartholomew, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, y yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Man, she's impressed you're joining the club, like, 
Don't yeah. need to do much more. Like, yeah. I mean, she's like, yeah, <laughs> just because you yeah. joined the club. Right? Oh, we're cutting that out. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Okay. Hey, Bartholomew, since we're already here, do, do, do you want to walk home together? By the way, I'll just know, I'm putting, putting my fingers together when I said that. Good, I just, good, I just good. I let you know. Full roleplay. That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Uh, sure, I might as well. Yes. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll have the chance to grow a little closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Let's fucking go poetry oh, time. Oh, poetry time, baby. Oh, no way. All right, who are we trying to impress? Oh. So, uh, okay, guess, so like... I guess paid. Monica's not an option. Yuri is sus, right? Sus. Of course. I vote sus. So do we want to impress sus so they don't like kill us later? Or She's like... got the mommy milkers. This is true. <laughs> That's not everything, bro. It's true. Uh, she does okay, she also has the best the personality. Person. That's true as well. You know, I think grief, pain, <laughs> grief, pain. Uh, I think those are the only ones on this page. Grief. Oh, what about oh, um, Bunny? What? I, I think Bunny she liked that cool. one. Cry. She liked that one. What the fuck? A tone. A tone. There's no way she likes a tone. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh. Uh, misfortune. Silly. No, Come on. Oh. Yeah, baby. Uh, Cheeks. Incongruent. <laughs> Cheeks. <laughs> Fun. No, no. Fun. You fucking Wait, waterfall. Man. Cheeks waterfall. Oh, Cheeks waterfall. Oh, Jesus, can you stop peeking? Take your mic away from your mouth, dude. <laughs> You're eating your microphone. You're eating it. Do a nightgown. Nightgown is probably a good one. Romance, bro. Let me laugh. Damn it. Um, suicide. Massacre. I think so. Suicide. No, suicide. Massacre. Stop <laughs> yelling, Austin. Jesus, dude. Massacre. Suicide. Massacre. Maybe it is explode. an anime girl game. Come on. Massacre? Yeah, massacre. Massacre, probably. There oh, we go. Uh, of course she was. Like um, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't do kitty. kitty. Don't do ki you I did kitty. Bounce. Uh, electricity. No. Milk. Captive. Captive. Broken. Captive. Broken. Broken. Oh, broken. Shocker. Oh. Boop. 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 Nope. Boop. No. 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 Don't do boop. 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 I did boop. Yes. You just Sticky. impressed them all. Sticky. 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 Come on. <laughs> Marriage? Dark. 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 Dark, 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 dark. What? Why do you, oh, why do you like Come on now. Come on. Um, um, dazzle. Incapable. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's sad. Wait, what's, Lollipop. What, what's, uh, either play? Yeah. I did Ducky Ducky. Um, um, email? Graveyard, 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 graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. It's settled. She's incredibly sus. Yeah, she's really <laughs> very dark. She didn't like Massacre, though. Effulgent? No, she did like Massacre, I thought. She likes Effulgent. She didn't like Sad. Bliss. Uh, Nibble. Yeah. Nibble. 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 Depression. Nibble. Damn it. <laughs> lost. Skirt. 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 What? Skirt or um, Lost? Skirt. Um, Empty. Empty yeah, is probably going to be... Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's, it is Day. Valentine's Day. But... So, what? Empty. Empty. Valentine. Empty. Valentine. Valentine. See, oh. yeah. we didn't what even get the... We didn't even... I don't even know. She's hiding something, man. Oh my god, we're just back at school. Right <sighs> I gotta breathe for a second, guys. I'm sorry. I just okay. Right, we're, back. We're, we're back. We're we're back. We're back. <clears throat> Hi again, Bartholomew. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, haha. Uh, nah. Don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I'll at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, and so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Bartholomew. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. For 30 minutes, once a week. <laughs> yeah, picking 20 words on a page. Oh, come on, he deserves any slack. Oh, wait. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. 
And last year too. Stop British, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turned into Dobby. <laughs> Master, Mr. <laughs> Potter, Mr. Potter. Oh, Dobby got a sock. <laughs> oh, Dobby I made cupcakes. Come and hang out. Or imagine or she's what? your little, your little house elf. You know. I mean, no, 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 no. no moving good. on. Hey, though. let's move on, guys. Let's <laughs> move on. Right? Get him. <laughs> Serious stop recording. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Uh, oh shit, on. sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Not Suki! You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, <we're done. laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Mangaka. <laughs> Manga is literature! Swiftly <laughs> defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Plop. Anyway. Don't worry, guys. Bartholomew always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. <laughs> I don't like... Okay, I I know you guys said something when I typed it in, but I think lowercase b for Bartholomew was a mistake. Yeah. It's yeah, so like... annoying. It's like actually bothering me. He helps me with busy work, even fuck, without me even asking. <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting, you pig. And you almost set your house on oh, fire God. once when you were playing with matches in the middle of your tissue mountain. <laughs> oh, God damn. Is that so? She didn't. You didn't have to destroy her. <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. <laughs> How come you and Bartholomew <laughs> can become good friends too? Uh, um. <laughs> uh, Sayori. <laughs> As usual, Sayori <laughs> seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Oh, uh, oh! You're even brought you something today. You know. Wait, they already <laughs> Oh my god, she got pomegranate ear. What? <laughs> this. <laughs> uh. Me? No, uh, not, not really. Don't be shy. It, it's really nothing. Uh, what is it? Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> oh, sorry, I skipped oh, that happened? second one. Uh, oh, there it is. Sayori so made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not, so... Uh, what do I do? Oh. <laughs> eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Uh, eh, don't, eh, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. It's a limited edition copy of Halo 3. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it really should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read or if you're a dumbass. Yeah, and we we could, you know. <laughs> this cuts it. <laughs> if you want it. <laughs> uh, this. <laughs> fuck. This is. Uh, how's this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> <laughs> she, she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me despite me being illiterate. Uh, Yuri, <laughs> thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically takes the book. Well, you could read at your own pace. <laughs> Which is, by the way, zero <laughs> words per minute. <laughs> Three to five business days per word. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book, and I can't help but notice her intense expression. 
like she was waiting for this chance. <laughs> Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, I thought you were in the closet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like no one else wants to be bothered today. I slump into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? By reading it? What? <laughs> Huh. I guess I, I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. Yeah, 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 now we figured it out. Damn. But I'm feeling a little Bro. too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I could no, close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayorian's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. <laughs> well, we can't give up. The festival's our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is, the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual, but it's not like that at all, you know. We just need to, a way of showing everyone, sh showing that to everyone, some something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do. Oh fuck! We can do the things to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayuri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. <laughs> That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, 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 what kind? Uh, well, well, I could. We could just have cakes. <laughs> good thinking. Matsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Matsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That's that's wasn't that that wasn't why you suggested it. Okay, speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Cup, cupcakes, it is then. Uh, I'm hungry. A anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. <laughs> Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can pick up, pick, put, 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 put her things, her mind to things, and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it, what it would, what it would be like to, to see the. The world oh through her God. eyes. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow.